everyone, my name is Princess Sherbert. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk about Mother's Day. Mother's Day is less than a month away now. So I want to give my advice, some of the ideas I have for Mother's Day, and hopefully this can help you this year. So today I want to talk about first is people who can physically see their moms on Mother's Day. Now, I'm kind of a nature girly, so my main advice is gardening. I think it's really great to get outside and spend some time with your mom. There's really cheap and useful gardening tools located at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, and even Target. Because every mom loves Target, we know. And also, I think it's very important to look up your native plants in the area. Gardenia.net is a, gr a great example. So if the plant native, I will have those linked in my description. And you can look up what plants are good for the areas you lived in, what time, would, what would be a perfect time to plant them. I know it's spring, so now is probably the best time to do it. But it's very important for your ecosystem, and it will be easier for you and your mom to grow them if they are native to your area. My second advice is for those who can see their moms today is take her shopping. I know gift cards are super easy this time of year. It's very convenient, but I know your mom would love some quality time with you. Take her shopping, set out a budget if you want to. I understand moms like to spend money. I'm guilty of it. My mom's guilty of it. My best friend who is a mom is also guilty. We're girls. We like we like to shop. And take her to lunch. Invite your grandmother out for lunch or even shopping as well because your grandma is also a mom and it would be nice for your own mom not to have to plan everything. I understand and times are busy, especially if your mom's working still. It can be stressful. Take that stress off of her and invite your grandma and plan something with them as well. And all these gifts also include grandmothers who have raised you. I see them as your moms personally, but I understand that they're also just grandparents. My mom personally loves when we're able to be together is to sit in front of the TV, watch movies we used to watch. And now I know you guys are like, well, that's just watching a movie. That's really easy to do. You can make this more fun or do more for your mom. My personal favorite is to make snack boards. They're super trendy right now. You can find them on Pinterest, what every mom's favorite site is. And I also put some right here, actually, some photos and examples. And of course, you can always just type them into your phone or your computers or iPads. I don't know what you have. But whatever you do today, I know your mom will appreciate it. So take the time for your mom because that's the most important thing to her. Now, for those who can't physically see their moms today, I'm in the same boat, and I know it's very hard for our moms, our grandmothers, and for us personally to see everyone with their moms today. And I know it's very stressful and it's hard to plan because you're like, well, it'd be easier if I was there just to see my mom. What better gift with me being there? But times are hard and things are expensive, so I understand. What I like to personally do is I like to send my mom her favorite flowers or her favorite color flowers so they don't have the favorite ones in. And then I like to add a little snack basket or like treats to it if I can, if the place delivers some, like your local grocery stores or Whole Foods or places like that. And personally, that's my favorite thing to do for her. I know, I, again, budget-wise, I understand that can be harder for people, but call your mom. Call your mom. I try to FaceTime my mom as much as I can, but especially on Mother's Day, I like to try to FaceTime her. I will call my grandmother when she's over there so I can see both of them and wish them a happy Mother's Day. One year, I just sent a pizza to my mom and my stepdad, and they loved it. They thought it was really sweet, and my mom didn't have to worry about dinner that night, as she also had to go to work. So just help your moms out when you can today. Even if you're not physically there to help them, mentally help them. Listen about her day. Listen about work. All the boring things that I'm sure you're like, mom, you're overreacting or mom, the neighbor didn't, wasn't being a bitch. You know, she was just trying to like make a joke, even though we all know how moms react to things. Another thing you can do for your mom that doesn't really cost much money or anything at all, if you have a similar music app you guys use, make a playlist for your mom. For me growing up, me and my mom really bonded over music. We listened to a lot of the same bands. She showed me some really cool music growing up and make her a playlist. Be like, here mom, I made this for you and these are songs I thought about you. I know it's a little old school, back to like mixtapes and records and stuff, but maybe it'll be nostalgic for your mom or she'll just even appreciate the thought. Now back to those who can't afford to spend. I know everyone's like, oh, gift cards. Like I said earlier, gift cards are great. But think about something for your mom that you guys can even just bond over. 
you know, maybe an activity you can buy for her the next time you are available to be home. So you can do it together. A puzzle, a really fun, like, crocheting thing you can sit and make together. I know they have some online where you can make, like, little little stuffies or, like, little paperweights out of things. And I just think your mom would really appreciate that. For those whose moms have passed or you're not close to your mom for whatever reason, I want to say take some time for yourself today. Today is very hard, and I understand that feeling. So take some time for you. Maybe order your favorite takeout, watch your favorite movie, or even watch movies that make you think of your mom. And really work through your feelings today. It's okay to have complicated feelings about the day, or even just be sad about the day because you miss your mom. And I understand that because I am lucky enough to still have my mom around, but I understand how hard it is to not be with them today. I just want to make this quick video in case anyone needed any advice or was like wondering like what should I do? Um, I want to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day, especially my own mom. I love you and I'm sorry I can't be home for Mother's Day and your birthday this year, but I want to thank you for being my mom. But again, my name's Princess Sherbert. Thanks for watching. Mwah.